a sketcher tutorial so today we are going to talk about how to implement account picker in sketcher so as a preview you can see uh, when you click the button uh, it will come choose account of the uh, for account picker so you can choose one account so example i will click this one say press ok and it will come uh, the account name uh, email and the type so first this was introduced by uh, the youtube channel called sketcher helpers and I um, actually make that this I made this video to explain the advantages of this uh, project okay because I have seen many advantages so I want to share with you all so make sure you watch the full video so you can understand what I'm going to talk and what I want to say so first of all uh, you need to get the source code so the source code it it's available on Shalin application so you can download it from Play Store so first of all let's go open Shalin and the link of the uh, course source code I will put in the description below so you just copy and paste here okay uh, search account picker click to get the code so this is the source code so let's copy the code and now uh, let's go to sketcher and create a project so in this case I will create as account picker okay so you can understand easily okay picker P E R. so now let's create and on on the view uh, XML file uh, just add a button and two text views and on components uh, you need to add a file picker as a count okay you can put as okay you can put as te as uh, the developer sketchers helpers have made a search con uh, zip okay we are put sh zip and add uh, after added you go to click and on i files click add the source code go to the box an operator and add source directly and you have to delete the source code paste the code source code we have just copied and delete this part okay delete that one okay after delete it go back back and after that go to more blocks and add uh, a more block call on account picked okay on account picked add the variable called email Sorry, uh, we just removed it. So it's a boolean. Add a variable, string variable called email, and another string variable called type. Type of the uh, like Google, Yahoo, or anything. Okay, just create. And on picked, uh, go to put text one as the email we picked. Okay, let's add two text here. And the, in the text one, we should add the email. In the text two, you have to add the type. Okay, okay, type. Okay, done. So after that, uh, what we should do is uh, go to button and click on the event of on click, and at the source code we have just implemented. So paste the code, but you have to delete this code. Okay, delete this code and remove uncomment this part. Okay, okay, that's it. So this is all. So now go to the libraries. Uh, you have to open the app compact and the firebase so in this case i don't have any firebase data so i will just put random data okay i don't have nothing because now i'm not successful but you need these permissions uh, okay next save okay done it's saved to add the com google uh fiber the that one that part okay so now let's run the project and see the output okay ap is running okay uh this is actually uh, made by sketcher help us so now i'm going to explain actually the advantages that we have okay uh, as uh, okay uh, let's finish uh, it's uh, compiling okay okay now the epic is building so it's working perfectly make sure you enable the both libraries app compact and uh, firebase if you have data in the firebase no worries as i didn't have the data so i just put some random invalid data okay so go to allow and click the button and you can see okay I put this one binarybeats.std at gmail.com and you can see the email okay what are the advantages is uh, you can see uh, the emails that is here is already verified by the phone like when you enter like when you enter a account to your phone to the android or any other platforms uh, it will check with the password and everything will be checked right it's no worried so what is the advantage is if you Im implement this in your app 
you can get less amount of signing like less time of signing like you just click it and press ok and then done and then or it's done so it's check whether it's so for a password you don't need a password because the email is already checked like but think about this uh, the user the owner is already making account to your phone no? like you think uh, this Manisha Perea 944 it's not another phone right so when he's or oh, she's using the application when he want to uh, log in he never see the account called Manisha Perea 944 never see because he or she is uh, the phone is not added by the account uh, if you want to add you have to enter the password the verification and everything that is verified by Google so there is no that the security is 100% so this type of uh, accounts is very valuable because uh, we can uh, prevent time uh, like uh, when you if you want to create an account let's see this is a created account press ok everything will be created automatically you should you should create a, your own code you, it will be created automatically and it will add to the firebase so if you create a signing you just you have to add a name uh, uh, password everything but in this case you just add the password as a random password like uh, you can encrypt the email something like that as an example so you can do that one also so something like that so it's easy with the securities because uh, as I explained uh, it's more you, you get like it's time you are consuming time more for signing so with this one uh, you can reduce time of signing and you can fast your app uh, at every, every time so because I see it is using that so as my application is iSkate, uh, it's working perfectly for every Android version and it's secured 100%. So no, I don't have any secured because uh, as I say, uh, a developer called Patrick Champan, a famous uh, developer of Android Studio, uh, he has said me that uh, signing is a waste of time. Like most of developers don't like to uh, signing, like it's a waste, like what, what's going on? Like even Sketcher has a signing, right? So but it's not useless, right? What is about signing? We are just making apps, right? Just for the signing for the cloud, it's useless. So that was his opinion. So I was thinking about that. So most of the users are implementing signing uh, in application with the normal way. But I suggest this way uh, to make the app uh, more fast and more quick. So hope you like this video and uh, make sure if you have any issues, let me know in the comment section. And please subscribe to get more subscribers.